Hi, Susan here. Okay, if you already got your pant block from the last videos, I'm going to show you now how to turn this block into a design. Cut it out of some gorgeous fabric, and that's what's next. guys, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Susan Elias, I'm a fashion designer for over 40 years and I've worked in the industry both outside as well as my own company. I'm an expert draper and pattern maker and I'm super excited to be sharing my patterns with you, my slopers with you, and my knowledge with you. I hope that you're going to come on board and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos so that I can continue to stay on this platform and give you this type of content for free. So, okay, if you haven't seen the video yet, I did a video finally releasing my pant sloper block pattern, and the whole video is helping you to find your sizes, to scope it out, to adjust it, to make it and tweak it so that it fits you properly. And so I promised on this video, I'm going to show you how to actually take that sloper block and make it a design cut it out of fabric and sew it and have new pants. Let's get started. I strongly urge that you watch another video if you purchase my slopers and I strongly suggest you do because I have really made this sloper block other than your traditional drafting method. It really fits well. And um, so, and I also urge that you do make a little muslin trial like this and make sure that the pattern or the block is a really good base pattern for you that fits your body type perfectly. So then you can design from there. Okay guys, so I've decided I wanted to, I don't want to have a band at the, at the waistline that I do want to kind of drop it and take out the waistband and do like a little yoke here on my, on my pant itself eliminating these darts here in the front. I was towing between a fly front or a zipper on the side, and I, I may just do the fly front, but I'm gonna put a band here, a little fly front here, and I'm going to do a fun little leg where it's gonna be fitted, 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 and then it's gonna kinda of come um, at the calf with a little bit of a flare at the calf. So I'm just gonna do just a very quick design with that. All right, so then we're gonna take that off. The first thing I'm gonna do, I have my pattern making paper here. It's about 22 inches wide by however long you want your design to be. I'm starting with the back pattern. As you can see here, I just put the back pattern on. I established my plumb line or my grain line. My grain line moved because we did this adjustment on the last video. So you have to make sure that you have your grain line solid because it could be all miscombobulated if you don't. So I went ahead and I traced this entire back pattern here and I'm going to do the same thing to the front beforehand. I sort of established that my design that I'm, I want to have this to be lowered all the way down to here. You can then weigh this down, pin it down, however you want to do that. And then you can put a tracing wheel. This is a long prong tracing wheel. And I'm gonna go ahead and establish where I want my, my yoke to be on this pattern like that. So now I have a little bit of a line here as a guide for where I want my yoke to be. This is the back one. I'm going to go ahead and trace out the front real quick and then we'll get right to it. Okay, here I am with the back pattern and I've established that I need to make it a, a little over 10 inches longer for my finished length here. And um, I also determined that when it goes in, I'm gonna probably wanna do that at the five inch mark. So five inches down, I'm going to put a mark here like this and go across like this. And what I'm gonna to have to do is carry this line here a little bit further in from that line. 
as well as this line. This is um this is a sloper, so there's no seam allowance yet, guys. And then I'm gonna want to go back out. I'm gonna kind of do this little flare thing. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna work it out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out like that. And let's say you know flare it out like that. So I'm gonna have like a little a little bit of a flare bottom like that as it goes down. And that's the kind of design I want to do. So this is just a mapping out ideas that I want. Make sure that you are equal on, you, this um, plumb line is not in the exact center, but if it was, you have to make sure that it's equal or that it, it follows the line properly. Otherwise your pants could be completely messed up. So just continue your lines. Um, so that it's not too far one way or the other. So that's the back. And let me go ahead and show you the front. So the front, I'm saying that I'm going to carry that down further, a little over 10 inches here as well. And that at the five inch mark, I'm going to put a plumb line perpendicular to that center line like this. And I'm going to carry my design in. I'm probably going to tweak it even more by eye and like that. And then I'm going to go back out again here at the hem, here as well on the hem. So I'm going to have this kind of a, a line as well. This is, I mapped it out how I kind of want to have it, but um, this is pretty much the knee area and this is where my calf is sort of, or a little bit around there. And I remeasured my knee area and I have very, very skinny legs. So I remeasured it and I'm like less than 16, but when you measure it guys, you have to kind of measure with your leg bent like this. I'm gonna bend my knee like that and then measure it like that. And when I, I have about 17, so, this is nine here, give or take. And then it, so it, it is it is probably around there, but I think I want to make it just an eighth of an inch less here uh, because I want it to be really, really extreme. So I'm going to go ahead and take out just about an eighth of an inch here all the way in the inner leg like this. I'm not gonna mess with the crotch area. As you can see, I'm gonna just kind of leave that as is. Once you have those lines like that, then you're going to want to add your seam allowance before we cut this out. So I'm gonna add my seam allowance around where my red mark is here, my half of an inch seam allowance all the way around to make this an actual pattern instead of then a block. Add a half an inch above the yoke line, but keeping the yoke line there for a minute. Okay, I think the best way to show you this would be to cut that off and then add the seam allowance because I think you might get confused. So this is the yoke line, and this was my half of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to cut on the yoke line first. On the front, as well as the back. Then I'm going to cut all the way around that yoke. That was adding, that goes right here on the front, as you can see. And this is before seam allowance on this side. So it was like that. I'm going to now close these darts like this, tape it down, and that's the, that's the front. And this back, I'm going to go ahead and close this whole dart like that. And that is the back. And if I close that dart, I also have to close the one that's on the pattern itself. So I'm going to close this little dart here like this. 
Don't worry if it kind of brings that in a little bit for the moment. This one doesn't really have anything, so that's fine. And I'm getting another piece of pattern making paper. And we'll work one at a time. This is the front. This is going to need seam allowance because we cut it off at that line. And now I have to make the design that I want. I'm gonna curve this line a little bit so it's not so sharp. And I'm gonna lower it actually a half of an inch. I don't want it to go to the waist. Take that out. I'm gonna take off half of an inch from the top and then I'm going to remake my yoke so this is front and this is back Okay, having camera issues again. So I'm going to show you what I did here. I cut this off of the front uh, piece at that yoke line. I cut this off of the back at that yoke line. There's no seam allowance on this yoke. I cut off a half of an inch. I'm putting back that half of an inch at the waistline. I, I do think I want it up there for now to, to test the design. So I'm putting that back up. And I'm adding that piece back to the front as well. Okay, this is the back panel here. This is the back and this would be the center back. This would be the center, this is no seam allowance all the way around this piece. This would be the center back. And this is the side seams. And then over here, this is the way this was set up here as well. This would be the side seams. This would be the side seam. And this would be the center front. I'm going to put these pieces together at the side seams. Very angular, and we will work on that in a moment. And this is the center, this is the back. So this will be my yoke. I know this is kind of strange. And I'm going to put the center back here on a fold of this piece of paper, like this. We're going to need an extension for the, for the center front, so I need that to be like that. I'm going to trace all the way around this piece. Like this. This is the center front. This would be the side seams. This would be the center front, and that would be the center back. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to kind of fix this shape so it's not such a mess here. I'm going to make this more rounded. Just going to work on the shape itself. Carry this down a little bit because it's missing. and carry the shape. Just gonna fix the shape just a little bit. Like that. Make it more of a nice curve. I'm gonna give myself a two inch extension here because I'm going to need it for the fly front 
for now. One side will be less than the other side. Then I'm gonna add half of an inch seam allowance all the way around this new pattern yoke. Well, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to figure out what's going on with my camera, but anyway, so we have the yoke shape here and I'm gonna to have to continue with, with that. I also put paper underneath both the front and the back because we have to add that seam allowance on the top so that we can sew this yoke in. So that's gonna go like that here as well. And I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it on the back as well. I close that dart, keep the dart closed. And I'm just going to put the seam allowance all the way around. Now we're gonna work on the fly front extension to this yoke so that we can get this all set up and then we're gonna check the, the legs. Okay, so this is the yoke waistband that I have here. Here's the center back piece. Here's your half of an inch seam allowance. Now we need to do the little fly front here on the front of the pant. And it's about an inch and a half wide from the center. This would be the center front line. I might make it a little bit bigger just in case. So I might just, just make it a little bit bigger like that. And you just wanna make this little shape like that. It's got to be straight, so let me make sure that it's straight like that. Tape this down. And tape that down. So this is the extension fly for the front. I I connect mine to the pants. I think it's better that way. And this is the band here. And this is the center back. This will not have seam allowance. This will be on the fold. And it's going to sew in like this. When I get to the side, that's exactly where the side is and I'm gonna put a notch. That will be the side seam. And then from the side seam, this will then extend all the way to the fly front, which is what I have here for the extension, like that. Only one side is going to need it because it's going to be folded back. But I'm just going to leave it like that. You have to make sure that they balance. Like that. And I made the back a little too long. I'll chop that off. There. And then I'm going to try this. I'm going to check the side seams. So from side seams to side seam. This is also half of an inch. I'm not sure why that happened. Taking that little piece off. So it lines up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to test this in muslin. And um, this is your yoke, so you've got it like that, and you've got this little shape here for your hip. I can show you that on the dress form. I have it here on the center back. This is approximately my size, so I wanna show you on actual my size. And then it, it flips over here to the front, and you've got your extension here for the fly front on one side for the buttons. So that's kinda of nice, right? And we're gonna to have to then cut these pieces out of muslin 
and test it because I'm not putting it in the right fabric till we see if it fits. Okay, let's do that next. You can see it's on me. It's kind of hard to get the angle right so you can see what's going on. I actually did take, uh, I did not like the wider belt, which I should have listened to myself. The narrower belt is what I was going for. Very short waisted. I don't want too much going on up there. It still looks like it's pretty high. I tweaked the right side, pulled it in a little bit more, actually tweaked it here as well. So I'm kind of liking what's going on there. I'm not sure if I'm just losing more weight or, you know, I'm not getting it right. So I want to make sure that this is right before I even get into the fabrics because if your pattern is good, you can just cut and cut and cut. I think I'm ready to put it into fabric and that will be next. I think I want to stop the video at this point here and do another one with uh, actual sewing of it and cutting of that uh, because I think you guys want to see more of, of the sewing as well and I don't want to make these videos too long I really wanted this done before Thanksgiving so that you could see it and get your your pattern if I do get the brocade silk brocade pant finished I will actually put the picture on this video but I'll have another video on how to sew it and put it together all right I hope you love this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time thank you bye bye